Dear sonographers, I want to help you out today with this video as I see that you, a lot of you are having chronic shoulder pain. And I want to talk to you about the most common reasons why we get shoulder pain and what you can do about it. Okay. Now, when we are scanning patient, patients, it is very important that the scapula is not opposing the movement of the arm. And this is most likely where most of you are getting yourself into trouble. Now, as we go into shoulder abduction or shoulder flexion, it is very important to know that the glenoid socket of the shoulder shoulder blade should follow the humerus movement. Okay, so if I go into abduction, the, sh the shoulder blade should go into upwards rotation. If I go into flexion, the shoulder blade should come in and up into medial rotation and upwards rotation. Now, you don't need to remember these specifics. What you do need to know, however, is that you, you cannot let the shoulder blade fall down as you're scanning. Because what happens if the, is that if you go into downward rotation of the scapula as you are abducting, the shoulder blade will oppose your, uh, your arm's movement. And this will actually cause the supraspinatus tendon, which, which runs right here, uh, and the humeral head to jam into the acromial bone, and you will have chronic shoulder impingement. It is a mechanical phenomena, it is a pos positional phenomena, and you can go to surgery, you can do all kinds of exercises for rotator cuff, but unless you address this problem, you are not going to get better. Okay, So I sympathize with you, I see so many of you struggling, so let me show you how to do this. So as you are scanning your patient, it is very important to know that the higher you're working with your arm, the more upwards rotation you actually need. So if you're scanning an obese patient, for example, if you're down here and you have your arm up here, you're getting yourself into trouble. Okay. Now, if, you, if it's not so high, then you just need a basic degree of upwards rotation. And the higher you go, the more upwards rotation you get. So this is why lowering your shoulders and relaxing, it is really not good for you. It is actually very detrimental. You have to maintain a chromial height to avoid positional shoulder impingement. Okay. So that is number one. So as you're scanning your patients, make sure that your acromial bone is up, not down. Is number one. As you are working on this, and of course it will be difficult for you, but don't give up, you will get used to it fast. And you can also supplementary strength your rotating of muscles. Now I will show you how to do it seated because, or else this will take me too much time. But you, there are four rotating of muscles, and two of them are lateral rotators, that is the infraspinatus and the teres minor. You have one abductor called the supraspinatus, and you have one internal rotator called the subscapularis. And all of these muscles are very important for integrity of the shoulder joint and stability and centration of that humeral head in the socket. Okay, So you can do all of these, most of these exercises sideline. For the supraspinatus, you will lie on your side, you will maintain uh, acromial height, you cannot be down here, then it will get, get worse. If you maintain scapular height, acromial height, you go into about 45 degrees of abduction. Slow and controlled movement. You can do 12 reps, 2 sets, 2 times per week. Okay. For the terrace minor, you will be a little forward, you will still be lying on your side, and you will do lateral rotation. You cannot be jerking the elbow around, you need that axial pivoting. To get that muscle. For the infraspinatus, you go into extension, you still maintain that acromial height once again, that is paramount, and you have a deduction of the arm, so your elbow is into your thorax, and you do this same axial rotation in this position, that is for the infraspinatus. For the subscapularis, you lie supine, once again, you have nice acromial height, nice upwards rotation of the scapula, and you do a nice uh, well, this will be opposite, obviously, but I, I'm, I just cannot bother to lie down, so I'll show you like this. So you will be starting in this position, you will be lying down supine, and you will internally rotate, okay? You cannot jerk the elbow around, because then you will get your teres major and your latissimus dorsi muscle, and you will not get any stimulus of subscapularis muscle. So you lose, use a low weight, controlled pivoting motion, to stimulate, uh, to, to stimulate the muscles properly. So, what did we learn today? Do not, sh do not slouch with your shoulders. It's very detrimental for you. You need to maintain proper acromial height to avoid positional impingement of your shoulder joint. You can go through, through, through surgery. You can go through a corrective exercise. It will not help you unless you stop doing 
this, okay? <laughs> so that is the most important thing. Keep your shoulders up, keep your acromion up. Then follow up with proper corrective exercises. Now, I hope this video was informative for you. I want to help you, you guys. You're doing such a great job for so many patients. I wish you the best of health. And please message me if you have any questions. Have a nice day. Thank you.